Alright guys, the Punisher Max 17 here and this is an unboxing video for the Master Grade GM Type C. This is the first unboxing video I'm doing of my Christmas haul kind of stuff because quite frankly I'm really excited about this kit. I've been looking at it, it looks really good and, and uh, I can't wait to do it. And uh, this kit was made in 2002, you can see. And uh, so 10 years old since the turn of the year is coming right around. And it's pretty impressive for a kit 10 years old to me. Uh, not saying those were bad kits back then by any means, but just some of the some of the aspects of this are impressive. And here's some stuff about the accessories and shots of the kit. You know, the beam sabers, uh, the gun, shield, things like that. And over here, we have just pictures of the kit itself, some internal frame detail, stuff like that. Pretty impressive internal frame, in my opinion, on this, too. Uh, here you can see the kit retails for 2,500 yen. And that, uh, you can get it at Gundam Store and More for about $30. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is at HLJ, but one of the cheaper Master Grades, about the cheapest you're going to get for Master Grades. And I got to say, because of that, I'm still quite impressed with this. You get the box loader on this. This is back when they still had those. I quite like this as a feature with the Master Grades. All right, and up front here, I have the manual, regular mas manual for Master Grades. You know what they look like. Uh... Just some information on the kit itself, like usual, instructions, and some pictures of the kit built and painted. Uh, same pictures as you got on the side of the box, pretty much. And then some, like, diorama -y in battle pictures of it. Standard run-of-the-mill uh, manual. Alright, so let's get down to the parts. First off, we have the A-Runner, which is uh, yellow, black, clear, and red. And uh, the black parts are mainly the feet, the shield, the chest, things like that. Have some clear parts for the head and the shield, I believe. And then uh, the red, it's nice. It's uh, the crotch piece on these, uh, on these old RX uh, kind of looking things. You have the little mini V-fin on the crotch area. And that's always a pain in high grades. I hate that, you know, painting that little V-fin. And usually I just don't worry about it. It's going to be that red color. But this, they actually have it punched out, and we have that. Uh, molded in yellow down here. Nice little feature. They probably had this on older Master Grades, but this is the first one I built that I ran into it on, so I like that. Also, I'm impressed with these chest vents. They are punched all the way through. So that, uh, so you no longer have to do the whole panel line in between these to get the black in there just punched through already done for you. I think it's a nice little feature. I was really, that's one of the things I was really impressed with, I should say. All right, here we have a runner of, it's an off-white color, a little darker than like an eggshell white, I guess. Uh, but basically it's the legs, uh, the ankles, shoulders, you can see this. Really nice looking in my opinion. Something about the sculpt of this kit, just something about the, the design or the mold of it, I guess, is really visually appealing to me. And that's why I chose it as my next one to work on, just because... I really like how this thing just looks, even on the runners. Looks really nice to me. We have another runner. Uh, this is the second of three runners in this color. We have the back of the shield, the pilot figures, uh, some waist stuff, antennas, front and back skirts, and then the head. And this head sculpt again, really nice. Love this head sculpt. Love the look of it. Nicely shaped, nicely molded. Really impressed with this. Okay, and the last of this white color runners is for the feet, the legs, uh, arm pieces, just random miscellaneous kind of stuff. All right, next we're going to get into this uh, gray-blue color. It's almost gray, but it has little hints of blue in it, you can tell. It's different from the gray that comes for the internal frame. This has mainly the pieces for the guns, but also this backpack unit and some thrusters. That's about all that's on here, uh, mostly just accessories. All right, we have a uh, run-of-the-mill kind of standard polycap sheet for a master grade. So there's that. And then we get into the internal frame parts, which is a very shiny gray. It's not just gray, but a, you can see how much it, how glossy it is uh, in the video here. Very detailed, though. I really like that. You can see these are pieces to the chest, like the cockpit area and stuff. Very detailed. There's the backpack unit. Loving the detail on this thing here already. Looks really nice. You know, there's the pieces to the hand and stuff like that. There's the trigger fingers. Alright, we have one more sheet of that gray for the internal frame. 
mostly comprised of things for the leg. You know, there's the upper leg, the lower leg, and just things like that. I like, I don't like the glossiness of it, but I really do like the, uh, the detail put into this. It's a nice, de nice amount of detail for a master grade. And the last runner of parts is just a tiny little one, and this is the Beam Sabers in a clear pink color. You get two of them. Okay, now this kit does have screws to it, which I've noticed some uh, older Master Grades do. I've never built a Master Grade with screws, but uh, this one and a couple others which I got uh, for Christmas, I've noticed, do have screws included with them. So I'm curious you know, about which parts of the assembly that'll come into, because I haven't looked at the manual extensively enough to notice. And you get one uh, little bag of decals and this uh, cable which goes on the back of the legs. I'll show you a picture of it here on the manual. You can see the back uh, of the knee joints here of this cable on them. And basically you just cut that cable up that you get right here and put it in there and it gives it a nice uh, realistic effect to it. So I like that quite a bit. So basically that in all is the Master Grade GM Type C. And I gotta say I'm very impressed with this you know I've built a master grade older than this and uh, I wasn't near as impressed with the parts quality as this and I've even looked at some master grades newer than this I have a few newer than this and I still wasn't as impressed with the parts quality as this one you know maybe I'm just crazy I'm really biased towards it or something but I'm really liking it and I can't wait to build it so there you go guys that is the master grade GM type C I uh, hope this helped anybody who was interested in this kit. You know, maybe it uh, persuaded you to make the purchase or something. I'll have a review and stuff coming up of this as always. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.